A neighborhood dispute that erupted into a long and at times ugly court battle has finally come to an end. The Comox Valley Regional District seized two dogs, Chum and Champ, from their owners more than a year ago, ruling that one of the dogs was dangerous. Well, tonight the animals have finally been reunited. They're home, sweetie. They're home. They're seeing each other for the first time since being separated by the courts, but Chum and Champ are now together in the place they will be calling home. We're absolutely thrilled. Um, it's been a very, very long time coming. Lots of frustration and sadness along the way, but that's all behind us now. The pair are now living in an undisclosed location well away from the Comox Valley, where regional district staff seized them in January of 2012. The two were at the center of a lengthy legal battle, which was finally resolved today. There was a lot of uh, negotiations back and forth, and I think the district um, was finally reasonable. And I don't know if they saw the light or, or what it was, quite frankly, but... Um, there's a lot of work on, on both sides. The two were originally seized because the regional district believed they were dangerous to the public. In the end, Champ was freed by a provincial court judge while Chum remained in the custody of the SPCA. The dog's original owner, Jacques Wanceau, says today he's able to fulfill the promise he made to his wife, Edith, who passed away last October at the height of the dog fight. The dog will have a place to go. They'll go together and severely want to put them down. And that's done. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi. Monceau also thanked the SPCA for looking after the dogs, believing the organization was caught in the middle of the dispute. The regional district acknowledges that far more resources and money has been spent on the matter than they would have liked because the case went on longer than anyone anticipated. I don't think anyone wanted this to go on longer. The judge did give an extra 30 days, but I don't think uh, Mr. Manso's side, and certainly not the CBRD, wanted it to drag out for another 30 days and then perhaps longer. The district says it has also learned some valuable lessons from the court case. And this was the first case of this type that we'd ever had, and uh, I think you always learn lessons from things like this. We had no idea, for example, that it would be so tenuous and such a tortuous road to get to this. Um, we didn't enter into it lightly. Chum now resides in her new home with a number of restrictions, one of which is that she cannot return to the Comox Valley Regional District. Cord Kerbis, CTV News, Comox.